Uh, that represent uh, MFX Pro here. Tony Warner's for you overall. Uh, talk about what that means to you to kind of represent the team and the club uh, at an event like that and just kind of continue this year where you're just kind of seeing progress and uh, play a big role in, in other tournaments. I mean, I'm very happy to be selected as, the goal, as one of the goalkeepers for Goalie Wars and it's something that, you know, you do as a kid growing up, just not even playing goalkeeper, but it's it's something that I haven't done in a while, and I'm looking forward to get back into it and have some fun in it. How about the year overall for you? You recently made your first senior appearance for the uh, national team represented. Uh, the team also at the 20 levels for World Cup in South America. What was that experience like, and how has that helped you kind of develop as a player so far? I mean, they've been great experiences. I understand what work needs to be done as well because they were all the results that we got were, I mean, ones that we weren't looking for. But at the end of the day, I gained some new learning experiences from them, also some life lessons as well as to what I want to work on when I got, or what I look to work on once I got back here and what I'm currently working on in the goal. And no, it's just, it was a good welcoming to that level. Especially the game against Chile, it was, it was we lost 5-0, but at the same time, it, it, it helped me understand kind of what that level looks like and, and the work that needs to be done before those goals happen. But no, they served as amazing experiences, definitely unforgettable as well. I mean, they've served as I mean, amazing experiences. Uh, just being in that environment and and looking at that level and what the opponents are playing at, where they are playing at as well. It's just it it, it showed me that 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 it's possible to really get there. And and even though I've believed it the whole time, I mean, it it, it just kind of clicked that that it's it's. It's really, it's not easy to play at the level, but at the same time, it's, it's definitely a possibility in the near future. And to keep playing those games, that's, that was awesome for me and my development as well. And just for the, for the advice that I've received from Tarbo and Steve, it's just been kind of small stuff, like just in the goal stuff. And just, I mean, just goalkeeper things as in, you know, positioning and, and ending the play early and, and supporting my center backs, my defenders on, you know, those those aspects that lead to the goal. Yeah, I mean, you're around uh, world-class players here in the team and players that you've uh, faced against, like Chile, you had uh, Midal, you had Vidal as well. Um, you know, the, what's the aspect like for country, for a club and country? I mean... Just playing at the club, I'm, I'm already playing against players that are that are really good as well. But to play against, I mean, Vidal and Sanchez and uh, Bredetin, it was it was good because it, it just showed me the the next level and it showed me what they're doing at their club, wherever they're at. But uh, but yeah, no, it, it was it was very difficult. I mean. You get three scissor kicks shot on you in the same kind of half. It's it's not easy to kind of come up big against that. But at the end of the day, if you want to make it to the next level, that's what you have to do. Thanks so much, Adrian. Best of luck. Thank you. All good? Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.